Princess Sarah. I wish to know to whom I owe the honor of bearing his name. He was a being from an intelligent and wise race that lives beyond the stars, who hold honor above all else. But for some reason he left and was converted into a dark Templar, and was exiled to a planet far from his homeland. I sense similarities between our histories. Maybe you were someone from a unique race, and you ended up being converted into a being of the darkness. A shadow. And he never returned seeking vengeance? Yeah, he went back, but to help his race face a big threat. What? He offered his life for those who repudiated and exiled him? Yep. But how is this possible? Because though he was a being of darkness and was exiled, his heart was noble and he didn't want to break the promises he once gave to his people. I wonder if you've ever had to kill anyone from your own race for entering the castle. I do not know which race I was in life. I have no memories. But... What if you knew? Would you kill them? I would. It is my duty to protect this castle. I see. Well, I don't think you should. Stupid human, how dare you presume to know me better than I know myself? Because your pride blinds you. You try to ignore reality just because you don't like it.
Hey, Zira, look at those mages. They're like in a giant bubble. Bubble? Can't you see that as a magic shield? It repels all projectiles. So, I can't attack them from far away. Crap, they're too high. I can't reach them to smash their faces in. Their shields only last for a limited time. Great, then if I wait, their shields will wear off, and I can attack them from a distance, right? Would you mind using your head for once? As soon as their shields expire, they will cast them again. Then what? What can I do? You must find a way to incapacitate the mages so that when their shields run out, they cannot cast another one. Only then will they be defenseless against your attacks. Let's see if I can think of something.